I don't have an idea even about what it is I'm doing on the bass. I don't have a thought that here's how I pick the bass part. And, and I don't even know what it is that made me want at 10 years old, made me want to play the bass. I just wanted to play the bass. Like most musicians, I don't really spend much time thinking back at what I've done. And as I get older and I've done more, I spend even less time thinking back. But I sense it, I certainly listen to it, and I feel it, and, and it's very important to me. It's kind of my life. And uh, I, I, it's important to me to fashion the sound that works. You could call it vintage, you could call it new, you could call it uh, analog. When it sounds right, then I'm a happy guy. My parents asked if I wanted to pick out an instrument different than piano, and I said I want to play the bass. Many years later, I went to the Eastman School of Music in Rochester, and uh, by blind luck in the school was uh, drummer Steve Gadd, and Steve kind of needed someone, some bass player, to do gigs with him. So I kind of, by default, became uh, a rhythm section with Steve Gadd. I've been lucky through a, through a long career to be, to be asked to do a bunch of different kinds of music. When I am on a session with a, an artist and the artist presents their pieces and sings them, I kind of get inside, I get my head inside that piece and I try to get an inner sense of uh, what I would like to hear the bass doing. When I bring this, this bass to the session, I have a lot of options and things I can do. Most of them involve the tone controls. Some of them involve the, the switch of, of, of pickups. Generally, I'll stay with the same pickup configuration. The mid-range, I have a, a lifelong um, relationship with the mid-range. I keep it way down. Maybe it's because I grew up with the, the pre-mid-range Music Man sound, and, and I can echo it fine by just pulling it almost off. Very often I'm looking for a big fat sound. I never have to turn the, the bass uh, control all the way up. There's plenty of bass with it, just about three quarters of the way up, plenty of bass. And people are telling me your bass, your sound is wonderful and big and fat, as if it's mine, it's the bass. Really, the uh, music man dialed in the right frequencies for that mid-range. Uh, they dialed in the useful frequencies, not just for the mid-range, but all of them. And so it's there technical ability that makes me be able to just live the art of what I'm doing and just be the bass player. I love music and I've been very lucky to be around great musicians who I've learned a lot from. And I have been kind of staying on the low strings and doing the basic side of it. But uh, if I'm going to look back at all of these years, I'm going to say what I definitively am as a bass player.